what's up guys so in this video i'll be reviewing the latest a6 gel nyc 2055 and i'll also be comparing this model to its sibling the gel nyc so with that being said let's jump right into it and let's talk about these <music> This latest model from ASICS had an international release on July 19, 2024 for a retail price of $130. The colorway that I have here is the Pale Oak Truffle Gray, and the shoe is inspired by early 2000s contemporary running silhouettes for everyday lifestyle. So the shoes come in a regular ASICS GR box as you can see here. Here you have the official tags of the shoes. So here we have the ASICS Gel NYC 2055. When it comes to the colorway on this pair, you mostly have a light gray with cream upper. You also have some black panels throughout the upper of the shoe. Dark gray as well on the Onutsuka stripes. But my favorite part of this colorway is the green hits that you'll find throughout the upper of the shoe. I love how this green looks. It's very nice also on this colorway because of you know now that we're in you know summertime definitely looks good overall my favorite part is right here on the gel technology i like how it looks looks really cool as far as the overall design on this model the upper basically draws inspiration from two models from a6 and that is the g2050 and the g2060 when it comes to the materials on this upper similar to most you know a6 sneakers of this style early 2000s you're gonna find a lot of synthetic panels on the upper part of the shoe and that's expected when you buy in the shoe you're not really buying it because of like really you know high quality materials like you would a new balance like made in usa for example you're expecting high quality suede on that particular shoe and obviously you're paying a higher premium with these for a retail price of 130 dollars expect to be mostly synthetic materials that you'll find on the upper of the shoe and with this model is no different the base layer here is a breathable mesh you find that on the tongue as well and then throughout the upper parts of the shoe you will find a little bit of reflective materials on this model and it's this stripe here that goes from the heel part to around the quarter panels of the shoe and then here on the upper part closer to the ankle collar this little panel here is also reflective so bringing in the sibling gel nyc which is the first one to release of the two obviously this 2055 just came out the gel nyc has been around already for a minute been pretty popular in my opinion for asics overall it seemed like it's doing pretty well for it to be a relatively new model it's also a similar style of inspiration compared to the 2055 where it draws inspirations from other sneakers as you can see here all of the differences are going to be on the upper part of the shoe because on the uh, midsole and cushioning system and the outsole they both have the same midsole and outsole from the gel cumulus 16. when you have the shoes side by side as you can see on the gel nyc you know it's a little bit cleaner you just have a pretty much straight lines there on the uh, mudguard area where here here on the 2055 you do have some different cuts there on the mud guard so that does make things a little bit different also around the lacing system on the gel nyc you just have a lace lock there or lace loop and then here on the 2055 you have a similar lace loop i guess but then you have those uh eyelets there that makes things a little bit different. You will have similar branding placement. You know, you have the ASICS logo on the tongue on both pairs. You also have some ASICS branding on the lateral side of both pairs. On the 2055, it's just bigger than on the Gel NYC. And then on the heel part of the shoes, you have the ASICS logo there for the 2055. On the Gel NYC, you'll have the Gel. Both models also retail for $130. There are some GR uh, Gel NYCs that go for about $140. But overall, for the most part, it's the same retail price. As far as the sizing on both pairs, I went with my regular size, size 10, and they fit almost identical, guys. So if you already have a pair of gel NYCs and you're interested in the 2055, just get the same size. I think that'll go well. And when it comes to comfort, they almost feel identical as well. They have the same midsole and cushioning system. So you're not really gonna find any benefits from the 2055. It's pretty much the same thing there as well. Pretty comfortable overall. You know, obviously I've had the gel NYC for a while now and it is very comfortable. So you're gonna find the same feel here with this newer model of the 2055. So my overall thoughts on these gel NYC 2055s. Of course, I am gonna like these because they look so similar to a gel NYC and I already like the gel NYC. So liking these, 
is pretty easy in my opinion. The only thing that I do kind of, you know, it's kind of a head scratcher for me is that why would A6 release a similar pair to the gel NYC that I guess it appears like, you know, it's doing pretty good overall. What is the benefit of buying another pair that looks so similar? The retail price is the same. The technology as far as the comfort level is the same, same type of cushioning system here. So I'm not sure what was the decision there for A6 to release such a similar pair to the gel nyc of course if you already like the gel nyc you're pretty much going to like this one too i don't see why you wouldn't i mean the upper is obviously the main difference here but it's so similar also and you know the shape of the shoe is a little bit different than the gel nyc but other than that i mean you don't really you know you're not really getting a you know big difference or major benefit for copying this model to be honest unless you really want to get a pair maybe you're tired of the gel nyc you want to switch things up and go with a different model then of course you can go with this but honestly if you're someone out there who has a pair of gel NYC's I don't see why you would go and grab these in my opinion of course if you like this colorway this colorway is nice so if you go for the colorway then of course you know do your thing but as far as the model itself there's no real benefit there I don't see why you really got to go after this pair and grab these if you already have a pair of the gel NYC so with that being said let me throw these on let me put the gel NYC's on so you can see the difference of how these look on feet guys hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the a6 gel nyc 2055 let me know in the comments below if you agree with me that you know this pair is kind of like not needed if you already have a pair of gel nyc's but also let me know which one of the two models you like more and like always guys thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers thank you if you're new stopping by you like this type of content you like my videos please feel free to subscribe like the video comment below that's definitely going to help the algorithm help the channel grow and I really can't do that without you guys. Also follow me on Instagram, Threads, TikTok, at Guy and Kicks. And that's it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.